Hello, RP developers. My name is Bharat Juneja. In previous session, we created a web API definition, and in this session, we are gonna consume that web API definition in our process. So let's get started. In our action stage under web API services, this web API definition is available. Open weather map API, and we have only one action for this. and we have to input the city name let's input india in double quotes and in output we will get three output response content http status code and response headers let's create data items for storing these results we will see which what all are these outputs So let me run this, and here we go. It is very simple to consume a web API in Blue Prism. Just create the definition and use it as a business object. Now we got three output. First one is response headers. You can see all the details of response headers in this. It contains two columns. One uh, column one contains the property, and column two contains the value of that property. You can see the server name, content type, connection. and all the properties of the header next one is http response status code http response status code indicates whether a specific http request has been successfully completed or not these codes are separated into five classes or categories the first digit of the status code define the class of response while the last two digits do not have any classifying or categorization role if the status code is starting with 2 that means the request is successful or completed in our case it is 200 means our request is http request is completed successfully next output is response content as its name suggests it contains the response which we got from the request it contains response in the json we can use the utility json object or to change the result into collection let me take a action stage if you are not aware of json concept then you can watch our video on json we will convert the json into a collection there is one more way to get the result or get the response into a text or into simple collection instead of json we will see that in the next video let me convert the json into collection and in current values we can see the data there are one row for city and 20 row for the list now it contain a j array or json array and in each we can see the coordinates of the city there are 30 rows and each row contains the weather of the day This is how we can consume a web API definition in our Blue Prism process, and we can get the result in JSON, and we can process this data. Thanks for watching, guys. Do comment your doubts and queries.